hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video i will show you how you can connect to your centos machine through remote desktop from windows operating system okay so before we start if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe my channel and so you will get the update from my next videos all right so let's start so here i have a centos operating system which is running inside virtual machine and as you can see that virtual machine the interface is quite small and i cannot uh, access in full screen obviously i can access through uh, if i enter in full screen mode but if you are using something like virtual box uh, then it is very hard to view this in full screen right so for convenient use we will use the remote desktop as you know our traditional remote desktop i will show you okay just go inside run and type mstsc and then you will see something like this remote desktop connection and then we will try to connect by windows remote desktop desktop connection to this centos server so right now first we need to see the ip address so to get the ip address you can type if config and you just go there and find out this is our ip address 0 0.138 okay let's just copy this go to our remote desktop connection paste this ip address make sure there is no space try to connect that and it's trying to initialize the remote connection but obviously there is no no packages available in this centos that's why you can't even connect to this uh, centos server from remote so let's i'll uh, end the end you will see something like this remote desktop can't connect blah 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 we know that because there is no service so let's just install that first clear everything make sure you have active internet in your centos server go and login as root first thing you need is a epel release so yum install epel epel release and just install that and in my computer it's already there so that's why no need to worry now next we need to install the packages okay so yum install the first package is xrdp xrdp and another one that we need is tiger vnc tiger vnc and then server okay you can get this command from the description of this video okay just hit enter all right so it's looking for the packages and you can see that it's found and it's there is one dependencies also so you don't need to worry just press y and hit enter and now the downloading will start can i okay start okay so this is very small packages but it's, these are installed perfect now let's just see the service so to check the service you can go to system ctl status and the status of xrdp xrdp so right now this is inactive dead so just start that start xrdp so now our service is running there is no error perfect clear this so we can see things clearly okay now the another thing is we need to enable this because if we restart our system make sure the service already always start so enable and then now if even if i restart this system this xrdp service will start okay so clear no problem at all so now one thing that we need to do is we need to open a port 
which is required for XRDP and that port number is 3389. So how we can open that port through, we can open through firewall command. So go firewall, firewall, okay, and then CMD. Then we will put this in permanent, permanent, and then zone public and then add port and then port we will provide 3389 and that is our TCP all right so just hit enter oh permanent firewall cmd sorry yes so now you can see that success and also you can find this command in the description of this video okay so now we need to reload so firewall command and reload all right success let's just go and see the status how can we take this on remote connect all right so now you are not seeing any error but what you see is you found xrdp hit yes and let me just show you it and you will see something like this so yeah log into studio ping and that is the name of our server and you see a session xvnc let's just try to log in with our admin okay so now here we take the remote desktop of our CentOS server from Windows. All right, so it's that same thing that like, uh, from 0 0.138, like as usual, you take other uh, Windows PC on remote, you can take this. There is one more thing that I would like to add here. Whenever you take CentOS server on remote, do one thing. Let me just close this. Go back to the setting again sorry mstsc inside run and then you see here okay go to show option and there you go to display and instead of highest quality 32 bit select to 24 bit okay with that you will see the smooth interaction inside centos because with 32 bit I don't know it's it's not supported at some time it's hang uh, so I always use true color 24 bit whenever I connect to any CentOS server from Windows you can also use this so now hit connect and you can say yes and you will see again type admin and password starting yes as you can see with that now you are able to take your win uh, sent to a server from windows as uh, remote desktop so all the commands which i used you can get it from the description of the, this video and i hope this video will help you in your situation so that this is it for this video and if you like this video please like and don't forget to subscribe my channel i will see you in my next video